hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening or depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again and thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my people we really appreciate you for your support and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again yes guys as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country Hush Poppy versus Abba Kiari. IGP speaks on Abba Kiari's extradition. For some time now, the uh, Buhari's government have been quiet on Abba Kiari with um, a lot of speculations going around. That it's very possible that um, this Abba Kiari's issue wants to be swept under the carpet. We know the US um, FBI requested um, Abba Kiari to present himself. There was an arrest warrant on him to come and explain himself. Um, after being indicted by uh, Hush Puppy, Hush Puppy um, laid some allegations against him. However, Unaba Kiari has um, denied all of um, the involvement, everything Hush Puppy stated, but uh, an extradition process was on. Malami, the Attorney General of the Federation, he was in a hurry to tell Nigerians that uh, they should not um, expect, you know, the way he put it, he said, um, there is no guarantee that Abba Kiari will be extradited. Abba Kiari is a northern and we know what Buhari's government stands for. Everything to protect the north. Everything is all about the north. I bet if Abba Kiari was from another part of the country, President Muhammad Buhari, they would have shattered plane and only then would have presented Abba Kiari to the U.S. government. They've been covering it. They've been doing all sorts to the extent that even um, some northerners, um, they were... Uh, one time they they came out and they were stating that um, President Mohammed Buhari did not follow due process, that due process was not followed in all of this. Uh, that um, you know, uh, Abakiari has been on suspension, he was suspended immediately after this issue came up, and they were saying that um, due process was not followed. Uh, how come they just uh, believed everything and just placed Abakiari on suspension immediately? These guys they are really unbelievable. Well, uh, what is going on right now is that the Inspector General of Police um, has released some new information about Abba Kiari's extradition because um, a lot of persons have been asking questions. What is going on with Abba Kiari's issue? Is he not going to answer the fraud allegations against him, the super cop? Well, we have all of those details now. We'll bring them to you in a minute. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, click on the like button. If it's your first time, please hit on the subscribe button. God bless you. Thank you once again. Now into the news. The Inspector General of Police, Usma Akali Baba, on Thursday claimed that he is not aware of the request to extradite the suspended Deputy Commissioner of Police, Abba Kiari. Usma Baba stated this while addressing newsmen at a ministerial briefing organized by the Presidential Communications Team at the State House, Abuja. There had been reports that the Federal Bureau of Investigation requested for Abba Kiari to be extradited following an allegation of bribery involving confessed fraudster, Hosh Poppy. But the IGP stated that he has not got a formal extradition request from the FBI and has only seen reports about the issue on social media. The IGP further stated that his office had received legal advice from the Attorney General of the Federation Abu Bakr Malami. In his words, while working on what to do next in terms of asking the officer to account for what we have gathered in the investigation and what we'll do next. But as for the extradition order, I have not received any. I have not heard of any. I have not heard about it formally, but I've read on social media that there was an extradition request. I've not seen it. I've not heard it formally. That is one. Two, when the issue of Abba Kiari started, we took our action by constituting a panel to look at the allegations that were made against the senior officer. The allegations was based on receiving gratification and also fraternizing with Hush Puppy and his group and even receiving some instructions and so forth. We looked into all these allegations by a committee that was set up chaired by a DIG. We submitted our report to the SGF for vetting and advice on the findings. 
we have gotten from the investigations. Inspector General of Police uh, Usma Baba is claiming right now that he's not aware of any extradition request. That um, all he has seen is that he's on social media. Uh, we know this Buhari's government because they protect the north, they cover up everything. They, they, let's not be surprised that they will be playing some games here, claiming that um, they've not received anything. It, what about the arrest warrant? He didn't talk about that one. What about the arrest warrant from the FBI? Uh, they, we know they, they talked about their own um, investigation, panel of uh, uh, the investigation that was set, a committee to investigate and then um, draw conclusions from um, all the things that Hush Poppy stated and all of the different stories that Abakari himself gave. You know, initially it started with uh, um, a tailor relationship. He just connected uh, Hush Poppy to his personal tailor from there. He deleted that post from his Facebook, changed it again to um, helping to. <laughs> he said he, he just helped to 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 collect money. He helped uh, Hush Puppy. He's now a collector. Help Hush Puppy to um, collect money from someone that was um, owing Hush Puppy. Well, with all of this that we can see, we know that um, President Mohamed Buhari's government is one-sided, very one-sided, no justice, no fairness, no equality. We keep saying it, no equality, because if these allegations were laid against, <laughs> let's just say somebody from the East, we know the agitations that are going right now, going on right now and the sort of intimidation and oppression that President Mohamed Buhari's government is using. If these allegations... Uh, were against uh, or on someone from any other part of the country, any other region, south, the the east, the west, any other part. We know what would have happened. Usman is stating that he has not seen any extradition request. And let's not forget that before now, Malami has stated that uh, there is due process. That even uh, extradition cannot just happen like that. They know what they are doing. When he gets to Abakari, there is due process. But when it was for Nam de Kano, there was no due process. When it was for Sunday Buho, there, there was no due process. When they raided Sunday Buho's house, no due process was followed, no search warrant. They just went there, vandalized his house, destroyed things, even went, uh, took it too far to the extent of killing two innocent citizens, two of Sunday Buho's aides. Well, I believe that um, as a result of the many questions that have been asked, Usman has released this statement. He has just spoken on uh, Abakiari's. Um, case that uh, he's not aware of any extradition uh, request, but uh, that they are following the case closely. We would wait and see. We would wait and see. Well, guys, leave us your take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.